Hello guys, welcome to a new video and also the first video ever for my um, SIMOS exam that I want to take in 90 or 100 days. Uh, maybe 100 days I will go ahead and take this exam. So we are going to go over describing this GET VPN and what GET VPN is and what and how it works. So I put up a um, PowerPoint for you guys. So let's go ahead and present that. So the first thing is group encrypted transport. That's what a get VPN stands for. And what is get VPN? Let's give you like an overview. Um, so iOS get VPN is a tunnelless VPN technology that provides end-to-end -end security for network traffic in a native mode and maintaining the fully meshed topology. It preserves the original source and destination IP addresses information in the header of the encrypted packets for optimal routing. Hence, it is larger, largely suited for an enterprise running over a private MPLS or at IPS-based core network. And what are some advantages of this GET VPN? Well, it provides a highly scalable um, any-to-any mesh topology natively and eliminates the need for complex peer-to-peer -peer security associations, like IPsec site to site is a peer-to-peer -peer security association. Uh, for multi-label switching or MPLS, it maintains the network intelligence, so it's fully meshed, it uses quality of service and routing path, and it grants easy membership control over centralized key servers. It helps ensure low latency and jitter by enabling full-time direction communication between sites without requiring transport through a central hub. And what are some components or compo components of GetVPN? Well, a GetVPN deployment has a primary three components, which is the key server, KS, a group member or a GM, and a group domain of inter interpretation, which is GDOI protocol. Well, the, the first thing is a key server and the key server is responsible for maintaining security policies, authenticating the GMs, which are going to be the routers, and providing the session key for encrypting traffic. KS authenticates the individual GMs at the time of registration. And there are two keys, uh, there are two types of keys that the GM will receive from the key from the KS, which is the key server. Um, the key encryption key, which is the KEK. -E and the traffic encryption key, which is the TEK. The TEK becomes part of the IPsec SA, or security association, with which the group members within the same group encrypt the data. And the KEK is used to secure rekey messages between the key server and the group members. So you're going to be using the TEK. You need to remember this. Um, they are going to be using that for the IPsec, and the KEK is going to be used to rekey messages. So whenever a key um, expires, um, you're going to be using the KEK um, to rekey a message between the DM and the key server. And a group member, which is going to be a router or a layer three switch, um, registers with the key server to get the IPsec security associations, or SA, that is necessary to encrypt the traffic within the group. The group member provides the group ID to the key server to get the respective policy and the keys for this group. These keys are refreshed, um, are refreshed periodically, so they are timed um, by the KS, which is the key server. And before the current IPsec um, security associations expire, so that there is no loss of traffic. And whenever um, they are going to, and whenever they get the new key, uh, remember that they are going to be using the key, the KEK, -E which is the, is, which stands for the key encryption key. Okay, so now moving on to the GDOI protocol, and this is used for the group key and group SA management or security association management, and the uh, GDOI uses Internet Security Association Key Management Protocol, the ISACAMP, for authentication, for authenticating the GMs and key servers. All these standards 
Other standard ISA camp authentication schemes like RSA signature certificates and pre-share key can be used for GET VPN. And here are the faces of GET VPN. And the first one, uh, face number one, it only uses two faces. And face number one is when the group members will build uh, with the KS, which is the key server, a regular face one using Ike version one or Ike version two. And this requires you create a secure communication channel. Um, so that's what face one does. It just creates a secure um, communication channel. It also authenticates or registers the GM with the key server. And it uses a normal ISACAM poly set set settings like Ike version one or Ike version two. And what this phase one does, it just protects the phase two exchange. And what it achieves, what phase one achieves? Well, it authenticates the group member with the key server. It creates a protective channel for every group member. A group member will use the channel security association to secure to securely speak with the key server. And it's only needed to protect the phase, phase two exchanges. And now moving on to phase two. Um, the get VPN phase two. Um, GMs will build with the KS phase two using uh, the GDOI. And GDOI stands for Group Domain of Interpretation. And the GDOI is an extension to ISACAMP. It negotiates which group domain that we are going to encrypt. And what does um, what is achieved through the um, group domain of interpretation? Well, on phase two, the key server securely distributes to GMs or to group members the encryption domain to the respective group. Um, the key server securely distributes the, to the GMs two keys. So this is what the key server does. It distributes these two keys as well, and also the group, uh, the respective group, and two keys. And the two keys are like we discussed earlier. Is the key encryption key, which is used to secure to secure rekey messages from the KS for the key, from the key server to the group members, and the other key is a traffic key encryption, uh, which is a traffic encryption key or the TEK, um, which is used only by group members to encrypt the data plane. So every time you are going to do a tunnel. They are going to be using the traffic encryption key, and whenever the, this key expires, we are going to get a new key by using the key encryption key. Okay, and here's a picture on how the get VPN works. As you can see, the first face is from the key server. You can see that this uh, number one, this one gets that's the face one, which is um, trying to authenticate um, the group member, which is this one right here, this other right here, with the key server, right. And as you can see, this other router right here is doing the same thing, and this other router is doing the same thing. And then, after uh, that happens, then we have normal um, get VPN operations. As you can see, this um, blue right here, and they are going to get those traffic. They are going to be um, encrypted with the um, TEK, which is a traffic encryption key. Right, and whenever that key expires, what's going to happen is we have number three right here, which is the rekey operations. And the rekey operations um, is whenever we use the KEK, -E which stands for key encryption key. And now comparing the classic IPsec with this get VPN and why get VPN was developed in the first place in the first place. So the classical IPsec SA is a point-to-point, -point, right? It is a point-to-point. -point um, connection between two servers is a side to side, right? So the thing about that is that it's not suitable for multicast replication encryption. So you cannot use multicast. So you cannot have this, um, this three um, routers right here using the same tunnel because it it just does not do that because it is a point to point. Um, so so it's not suitable. What happens is that Ike IPsec secure associations have to be negotiated for each new IPsec tunnel. But, but when we're using get VPN, you can use the same tunnel to uh, reach out to this um, group member right here or to this other group member right here. Or from this group member right here, you can reach this and this. And from this member, you can reach this guy and this guy right here. 
and also it uses too much control plane overhead or CPU. It uses a lot of CPU, it is CPU heavy. And unique IQ, IPsec essays or security associations for each new tunnel. So it's scalability issues for the number of essays. So whatever you are going to create a tunnel with a uh, with a new router, like whenever you are going to encrypt with a new router, you need to create a new tunnel. But for GetVPN, you can use the same tunnel to reach out to any of the other um, of the other routers. And GetVPN, it is basically like a one-to-many um, encryption. One tunnel is used to reach any router in the group member, and that's why GetVPN um, was developed in the first place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on GetVPN. This is the first topic on the ISMOS, which is the CCNP security um, exam. I went over GetVPN. So on the next video, I'm going to go into 1.1b, which is implement IPsec with IP version 1 and IP version 2 using both IP4 and IPv6. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. And if you guys go, want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Go ahead and do so. Here's my Twitter account, CCNA Daily Tips. Thank you guys for watching, and I love you. And I'll see you in the next guys. Bye bye.